crack with the Batman. I'm new here. Hello. And we're the Toy Bros. So yes, we are. With the GameStop release coming out of the Shredder set from, they're basically the remakes of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives from this summer or last summer or whatever you want to call it. I don't even call them remakes. They just waited to give them to us. Yeah, like, they did the same thing with the Turtles, made them a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive and then released them a few months later. Like that over there? Yeah, at, at, from GameStop. So they're doing the same thing with these movie sets, which my buddy Tom actually, he, he went out of his way and stayed online and, and made sure everybody would get some of these. So if you were able to grab that whole I didn't pack, get one, Tom. And that's how I got basically all the San Diego Comic Con exclusives. But <clears throat> it's that's the only difference really is probably going to be the package and a few of the accessories that comes in this. But it does come with this cool ass package for the Foot Clan. You mean it doesn't come with this cardboard box that the Splinter's standing on? And it's basically the capture of Splinter from the movie. So it's a cool set. Like, definitely, if you got the movie Turtles, you got to get this too because that's how you're going to get Splinter and Shredder. And I might have, if I see some extra foot soldiers, I might grab some of those too for some pictures. Now there was, I seen like a loot crate had like a freaking, when he, when they Splinter comes a, back in a spirit mode or whatever. They were whatever. doing a GoFundMe, but I guess you couldn't, unless you actually like donated to it, you couldn't get it if you didn't. So hmm. I guess that was the catch with it. Unfortunately, if people were lucky enough to get that that's that's pretty awesome okay so we got master splinter looking like he died for our sins over here next up is shredder who looks pretty badass and the two foot soldiers that it comes with I like shredder's zebra stripe chrome so cape if you got the first movie turtles that came out which tons of people got the chance to get them i'm i'm gonna say that you definitely want these two and they look really really good uh splinter's got a cloth kimono and then shredder's got the cloth cape which is totally cool with me because it definitely looks way better than i would think if they did this in plastic i think it just no i think it works <clears throat> and then the cape comes off and it has a nice clasp around the throat that yeah. keeps it on there secure you know i gotta worry about falling off like some garbage ass marvel legends bullshit that in the movie like it, his cape looks like blades to me that's, that's what it always reminded me of so they tried to mimic that, but gave him like some zebra print thong going on there. I, I could see, uh, I could see that cape being used in some kinky ass toy photo. Yeah, yeah, put him on Snoke, well, sex dungeon. Or it could be Splinter is actually really cool. Um, we'll get him down from his little torture rack here. Oops. I know. That always looked like it was really painful too. Like, not just putting it around your wrist, but around your biceps. Like that shit would hurt, man. But he does have articulation in his legs all the way up. Whoa, Splinter, we can't show that on YouTube. <laughs> Gotta look at that for yourself. And he's got the bendy tail. So just getting these guys out of the boxes, always, always be careful with NECA, especially these ones. Yeah, the knees are, I, I think the knees are like what I have the most problem with. Like these foot soldiers, are they have double jointed knees, but at that second joint, at the, like the shin. Yeah, you got to be careful. I, it's, and I know I can hear Rick Gilborn right now. Heat him up! <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Thanks, but buddy. You do, you do. It, it actually does help if you want to get the figure to work a lot better for you. Warm it up. I use a little space heater. Like you find in any house that you want a space heater, you just put the figure in front of it. They're usually not hot enough to even damage them. It'll just really make that plastic really flexible. So it does that. We did that with the gremlins. And Is it, that space heater dangerous inside of your tent? Yeah. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have those like on a life raft or something Matt like that. Matt sleeps outside. I bring, this is not. His, I bring mine with my canoe. This is yeah. He lives in a canoe. This isn't even <laughs> his house. This is actually my toy collection yeah. that sure. I let him pretend that's his. But Splinter's really cool, and like I was, I was just pondering on this. His mouth open? Like, no, that's the only thing. He does not. His mouth doesn't open. So he can talk. But well, can you stick a NECA cigarette in his mouth? That's no. all I want to know. No, I don't think so. I want now, a smoking rat. Let me run this by you. Like maybe Splinter's actually the, really the villain because 
Shredder straight like kicks the shit out of the turtles in the final scene on the roof. Like beats their all four of them are fighting them and he's just straight beating their ass. But when Splinter shows up, he ba- he doesn't even like fight him. He just like flips him off the roof and kills him. Yep. So like, who is the real real badass here? Because Shredder didn't fuck around when they captured him. They straight like chained maybe him. these are they oh. chained him to the fence and Shredder wasn't fucking around because he knew. Maybe that's like when he got captured. They don't show you it in the movie, but he killed like sixty of those foot soldiers, and those were like teenage kids. <laughs> he didn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the human can opener. Yep. The AKA Shredder. Roko Saki. Roko Saki. Yes, that is correct. I like this figure a lot, but um, after I'm kind of uh, anticipating the Super Shredder, I'm like, this guy's just going to be like in a box somewhere because Super Shredder's yeah. going to be getting all the fucking love. Cause... Supposedly, I've heard, I heard one thing that NECA tweeted that they're going to, uh, somebody was asking about the movie figures, what we're expecting to see, and they said that they'd be finding out at Toy Fair, which I think is going on right now. But then you heard... Yeah, I heard 12, maybe more. So, so I don't know what that could be because we just counted them out. You got Taka and Razar, Casey Jones, April O'Neil, Tatsu, fucking, who else did I say? Kino from number two. Super Shredder, Kino, that's seven. Danny, that would be eight. So there's four more left after that. And I can't think of who it would be other than the... Ninja the, Turtles Part the, Three. The four could the be the Samurai Turtles. Dude, I would love some. I know y'all are probably like, that movie sucked, <laughs> but be, I liked it. And the Samurai hey, Turtles would be it's fucking still, dope. It's still Ninja Turtles. I had those figures, even though I didn't. You, you talk ever when you the say Samurai Turtles, I instantly think to the fucking the Marvel and Star Wars and the the Samurai but, figures. Dude, how awesome would that yeah. be? Them battling each other in a but picture. That would be that would be pretty dope if they did do all those Don't characters. You take my fucking ideas. But Shredder, of course, he doesn't. He looks almost just like the set, like the cartoon version. But they had, he had sleeves on him, so it was a little different seeing it as a kid. Just a different version, but it makes more sense now. And he still he still looks better than the new Ninja Turtle Shredder. I give it that much. He's got all those little blades, so you probably want to be careful. Yeah, I know. He's got, the, out he's got the extra he hands, and uh, he do, he doesn't really come with too much. He comes with an oh. extra set of hands. Oh, look at Check it out. And he comes with the... Uh, and... Oh, no, it comes off. His mask comes off, so you can see the gnarly-ass scar that badass over here gave him when he wasn't even mutated yet. Yeah, <laughs> when he was in the cage doing kung fu so and he shit. knows. Wow. He, he fucking knows. You don't fuck with Splinter. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. I did not know that it's mask came off because I haven't seen anybody post any pictures of that on any of the social medias or anything. So that's cool. He's got that gnarly scar. Yeah. I'd be pissed too. Man, but I mean, what was going on here? Shredder was trying to bang homeboy's owner's wife. Yep. Just, it was just a fuck. Lastly, up. we got the two foot soldiers, which are definitely a great addition because of the battle scenes you can do with them and the same reason we want to get more than one yeah because army build the shit out of these dudes and just have them fighting everybody just get like 10 of them in that scene where they kick the shit out of Raphael, like straight beat his ass mm-hmm. <laughs> he was unconscious for like three days man like he had some concussions going on there let's see possible brain hemorrhage broken ribs fractured bones internal bleeding and organ damage yeah, I mean, it says three days in a bathtub. We'll take care of that. Well, it's lucky you didn't die. I don't know why it didn't just tuck up in this fucking turtle, though. But the costumes look good. They're pretty accurate to the actual movie. My and only gripe about these guys so far is they come with, uh, when you pull them out, you get, you get two open hands and two hands able to hold stuff. Yep. So, so it's kind of it's kind of bunk. I mean, maybe you, if they do opposites, you can have them actually hold like the staffs and the axes properly. Otherwise, yeah. so it's either one guy holds two weapons and the other guy gets nothing. Yeah. Or you do like we did, and one gets one in each so, hand, and then you just got a free hand to jerk maybe, off with. Maybe they'll correct that when these next ones come out in the next week or so. Hopefully, they'll throw in some extra hands so you can do some more with that. And what's cool about that is they this probably isn't going to come with the GameStop ones, if I'm correct. But it's a weapons rack that has an axe, a katana, it's like a weird looking spear, it's like a javelin, and, and a bow staff. <clears throat> and that's actually pretty cool. And they come with a bunch of different weapons, knives, nunchucks, freaking billy club. Honestly, after I look at this, you could make that out of popsicle yeah, sticks yeah. very easily. Oh, yeah. If you're any kind of crafty, you could reproduce that very easily. The fronts of my drawers are clear, does that count? 
<laughs> that's a pretty cool addition but like i said i don't believe that this is coming with that set i think that's kind of the difference how the i doubt we'll get this box either had the uh full pizza and all that you didn't have that with the pre the turtles that they brought up after the fact and then i wish they would just make these out of plastic honestly instead of doing cardboard they did that with crash bandicoot and it's just cardboard man like this shit if you put it in the wrong place it gets beat up so easy so just make a plastic crate and that would be great too because then you'd have a prop to, for your dioramas or whatever so like i won't even use this because it's shiny and it, it just doesn't look right so i guess that's just something they do but that could just make them out of plastic guys <laughs> Don't be stingy. What are you doing? That doesn't mean you can have it. See? <laughs> you see how he is? But no, Fuck the, your toy. <laughs> the foot soldiers are pretty cool. This set, the whole set, I can't complain about anything other than they. even the turtles do have limited articulation. You run into that kind of with NECA, and I understand it's for the same reason McFarlane used to say it, is you lose some of the the actual look of the mold or the I'm fine with that with my neck up. anyway guys awesome set if you get the chance to get them definitely get them they're coming out I believe February 3rd so we won't have them here yet because our town's fucking bullshit we're not gonna do a but review on them for you anyway that's guys what this is for enjoy go get them yes go get them <laughs> anyway tell us what you think and uh, yeah. don't forget hit that like button hit that subscribe button I guess they say hit that fucking bell smash it hit the bell because YouTube won't even tell you if our videos are here turn your notifications on we usually do one to two uploads a week. Try to when we can. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Till next time. Toy Bros out. out.